the mic not even connected to anything. Okay, Shalom. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rakakwadash. Um, so what we just watched was something that just happened not too long ago, and I couldn't but resist to pull out my phone and just record it because it was hilarious. But uh, I'm gonna keep this short because you know. Our people, you know, they they not they not they not prepared for the events that's about to take place, and they think all this singing and hollering and screaming out Jesus as loud as they can is going to deliver them. But um, but what about what the scriptures say? They will go into how much they love the Lord, how, how great the Lord has been to them. But as soon as you start going to the scriptures, that's when Satan come out of them, you know, and they don't want to hear the scriptures. So that's why the Most High has a plan to get rid of two thirds because two thirds is useless. Now, Isaiah chapter 29 and 13 says this, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, what people he's talking about? His people, the um the Israelites. So they draw towards the most side with their mouth. Because the, our people are full of words, but but is absent of works. So it says, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me and they fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. So it's not, they, 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 they faith is not based off what the Most High said, it's based off what men said. Okay, the Mosai said he hates the sinner. They they say the Mosai hates the sin, not the sinner. No, the Mosai hates the sinner. There's no scripture that, that says that. That the Mosai don't hate the sinner. Okay. They they say Um the Mosai love homosexuals. Mosai says different. Genesis, the 19th chapter, show you how, how the Mosai feel about those actions. When he, when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, this is the book of Romans 10, and I'm beginning at 1. Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to the Mosai for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High. A zeal means to have a pursuit or a desire. But, but then it say, but not according to knowledge. Because they want to serve the Most High, the Most High, how they want to serve the Most High. You know? But everything is written. The Most High already have written how, you, how he wants you to serve him. But they don't want to be in compliance and they want to set up their own way. So it says, but not according to knowledge, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So they, the Most High see them as rebellious. Everything the Most High say not to do or is unacceptable, they find ways to still do it. Talking about God know my heart. Yeah, the Most High does know their heart and is evil. And that's why 
the Lord is going to lay down his own people and, and they're going to be destroyed for their insubordination. Jeremiah chapter 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that sit I'm sorry, he that set of snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. They are waxing fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. And who, do, who the Lord referencing to? These pastors, these priests, anybody that's using a Bible and saying that the Most High is working through them and that's misleading the people. And you can include these different Israelite camps that's not breaking down the scriptures the correct way. So it says, they are waxing fat, they shine, yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy, do they not judge? Shall I not visit for these things, save the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. Because you got these guys, they just make things up. You ask them a question, they just make it up on the spot. And that tell the people pretty much nothing that they're doing is wrong. They don't correct the people. And they don't, they don't warn them of what's coming. So it says, bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? And, you know, that's what it is. You know, our people don't eat that stuff up. They that's what they love. They love to hear deceit. But what you gonna do when the enter of? Because that deceit is not gonna deliver you. The truth is gonna deliver you. So I'm gonna close with that. Lord willing, this was edifying, and I'm gonna say all oh, praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Shah, Bashem Rakhadash, Shalom.